Hi everyone, how's everybody doing today? So good to greet you and we welcome everybody to join my channel. Thank you for joining Free Power. Uh, we're going to talk about Aptera and this time we're going to look at why they are energy efficient and what does the aerodynamics mean. So let's go ahead and get into it. Welcome back to my channel. It's good to have you here. Thank you for joining Free Power. And we are going to look at Aptera and actually talk about the efficiency and the aerodynamics of the vehicle. And this is something that they had planned for a long time. And they actually, uh, you know what, let's just go ahead and get them to explain this to you. And then we will go from there. Um, awesome. Well, now let's talk about our uh, first product, our three-wheeled solar EV. Um, so how does Aptera use efficiency and aerodynamics as a strategic lever? Well, <clears throat> when most people don't know this, but the, the marketplace has already selected for efficiency. When Chris and I started the company, we looked at about 10 years of sales data. And to us, the data were very clear when we, we looked at it through all different ways through MATLAB. And we saw clear trends that told us that the customers are selecting for efficiency by buying the highest range vehicles, but with the most affordable cost. Um, those vehicles to deliver that have to be very efficient. And so that told us that if we could maximize efficiency, uh, meaning more range for the fewest amount of dollars, that we could really make a dent in the marketplace. And so by, by having such an efficient vehicle, we use a much smaller battery pack. And battery packs are the most expensive part of the EV. So we use it as a strategic lever, efficiency, aerodynamics, uh, to make the vehicle structurally lower priced. Yeah, we're having a lot of those conversations uh, here in New York now. Um, you know, how are we going to make this vehicle super mass market uh, and through efficiency, you know, comes lower cost, uh, less materials used in the vehicle, uh, much cheaper battery pack. You can also think of the drivetrain having to do much less work uh, for a much lighter, uh, much more efficient vehicle. And uh, that, that really helps us, um, you know, all around with making this product very, very compelling, uh, not just but from a performance perspective, uh, but also from a cost perspective. Um, you know, you, you put all that together and we end up using about a third of the energy per mile versus the average EV. And we weigh about half of what the average EV weighs. So uh, less materials in and less materials used per mile of driving. So as Chris and Steve brought out, you can see that the, the weight of the vehicle and the aerodynamics of the vehicle allows it to get at least a third more energy per mile. And also because it's half the weight, that's less work that the engine, the powertrain, the wheels have to do uh, and the strut. So they'll last longer on the vehicle. Uh, can you imagine carrying a full pail of water a mile or should I say two buckets of water? A mile uh, that takes a good bit of work you might not even be able to get that far but what if the buckets of water was half that weight you'd be able to go much further you probably could even walk maybe almost the entire mile if you're in shape uh, just goes to show how much less work the vehicle does uh, not to mention that you get free energy from the solar panels because of the aerodynamics and the um, weight of the vehicle. So that is very big because the weight of, uh, let's say a model, let's say a Tesla model three, you can see that the weight on that for a standard range, is almost 4,000 pounds and the long range is 4,000 pounds. So that's a lot of weight where the weight of the Aptera is only 1,800 pounds or between that and 2,000 pounds. Half the weight. Also, if you look at the weight of the GM Equinox EV, um, the front wheel drive, that's almost 5,000 pounds. 
And if you get the all-wheel drive model, that is 5,000 pounds. So um, that's quite a bit of weight for the motor and the tires to be running and pushing that vehicle. So, you know, the Aptera helps out in so many different ways. And of course, as I was bringing out, you get up to 40 miles of range a day if you live in a sunny area. So that is really fantastic with that, what Aptera is doing. Aptera also has a smaller battery pack. So, you know, that also lessens the weight. But also you could put a bigger battery pack in it and it will go further. Like the 600 mile range version of the Aptera, which is the one I want. Um, it goes up to 600 miles, but there's even one better than that. There's one that can go a thousand miles. So this vehicle is really spectacular and it's going to do some amazing things once they start coming out with the vehicle. And when they do that, we'll see that their stocks will start to rise as well. But anyway, how do you feel about so far what Aptera is doing? They are starting to roll with this now. And of course, we all want to see the vehicle when it comes out. But um, that should happen very, very soon. But also, we saw that they were in Scottsdale, Arizona. A lot of people were there checking that out. And I got a couple of pictures here. So they are moving to different cities. And as soon as I find out which city they're going to next, I will let you know. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and end it here. So you guys take care. Y'all enjoy the rest of your day. If you're new here, please hit the like, ring the bell, subscribe, and you'll catch all my Aptera videos when they come out. But anyway, y'all have a good one. We'll catch you in the next video. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.